Weighted hula hoops versus smart hula hoops. Which one is better? I'm Hoop Smiles, and I seek to answer that question in this video. Now, to be on the safe side, especially if you plan to use a weighted hula hoop for exercise or even just a regular hoop or a smart hoop, I do recommend that you consult with your doctor first to ensure that this is the right exercise to fit your health needs. With that said, let's get to it. The first comparison I want to look at is which one is better for working out with? Now, when it comes to exercise and trimming your waistline, there are some research studies out there that have shown that using a weighted hula hoop, it can be an effective way to do that. When it comes to smart hula hoops, I went online and I tried to find some research about using a smart hula hoop for weight loss and exercise, and I really didn't see anything out there. My guess is, since smart hula hoops just haven't been around that long compared to hula hoops, there's just probably not as much research out there about the benefits of using smart hula hoops. For those of you that like to make science-based decisions, well, then you might want to go with a weighted hula hoop just because there's a lot more research that shows the effectiveness and the health benefits. But wait a minute before you pass on the smart hula hoop. Even though there's not as much research out there about smart hula hoops, I do believe that for some people, smart hula hoops may be a better option than weighted hula hoops. Let me explain. When it comes to weighted hula hoops, there are some disadvantages. Some people that have used weighted hula hoops have been known to get bruising or experience pain or maybe even possibly injury. Now, I do feel that the heavier the weighted hula hoop is, the more likely you're probably going to get bruises. Also, too, the weighted hula hoops that have the bumps sticking out like this one right here. I feel like that's going to make for a more uncomfortable experience. And this weighted hula hoop right here, I don't even know why anybody would want something like this, having the bump stick out like that. I just feel like that could be really painful. Now, this is where smart hula hoops might have an advantage. When it comes to smart hula hoops, they are in a fixed position on your body. So you're not going to experience that type of impact that you get from using a weighted hula hoop. Now, I will say there are some smart hula hoops that are more comfortable than others out there. And this was one of those smart hula hoops that I found to be more comfortable. But if I look at this one right here, there's these little cushiony things, these little spring-like cushions. If I push them in, uh, you know, that's what's going to be resting up against my body when I have this smart hula hoop on. So if you want to reduce the impact on your body, maybe having a smart hula hoop like this might be a better option. Something else I'll add about smart hula hoops, though, is that I don't feel like they're immune completely to discomfort. When it comes down to it, you still have to wear a plastic thing on your body. And I imagine some of you out there may not like that. Speaking of discomfort, if you were considering on getting a heavier weighted hula hoop with bumps sticking out like this one right here, then I recommend watching this clip first. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this five pound weighted hoop. This is actually the first time ever me trying this thing, and this thing is so heavy. Oh man. Oh, whoa. This thing is so heavy. It feels like it's like massaging my kidneys or something, and I'm going to like implode. Like, literally, that's what it kind of feels like. Whoa, I definitely don't recommend uh, for the beginners out there that you get a five pound hula hoop because this thing is ridiculously heavy. Wow. Now, for those of you that are leaning towards getting a weighted hula hoop, I would definitely, you know, get something on the lighter end first. And for some of you out there, you may even just want to try a regular hula hoop. Because here's the thing about uh, doing hula hoop workouts. You shouldn't have to beat yourself up to get a good workout. What I mean by that is if you're thinking, oh, I'm just going to go out, buy this really heavy hoop that has these bumps sticking out, and I'm going to spin that thing around, and it's going to jab into my stomach and my back, and that's how I'm going to lose weight, trim my waistline. Well, I feel like that way could be unsafe, and I do not recommend doing that, okay? Because here's the thing. You, you don't have to go that route to get a good workout, because if that's the way you're doing it, then you're doing it all wrong. Some of the best workouts I've ever had hula hooping have come from just using a lighter hula hoop like this. When it comes to doing different workouts, this is where I think weighted hula hoops and hula hoops in general have an advantage over smart hula hoops. When using a smart hula hoop, because you are limited to that fixed position, there's really only so much that you can do. With hula hoops, you can do it on different parts of your body, along with learning so many hula hoop tricks. Now, if you do plan to go to the weighted hula hoop route because you want to learn a bunch of hula hoop tricks and whatnot, 
I will say it might be harder to use a weighted hula hoop when doing certain tricks, such as if you're gonna spin it on your hand or you know spin it around your neck or maybe some of the more delicate places. And it might feel more uncomfortable and possibly hurt to use a weighted hula hoop on those parts of your body. A good workout is gonna be one where you get your heart rate up, you get your blood pumping. So with a weighted hula hoop, there's just so many different types of workouts. But the question is, can you get a great workout using a smart hula hoop? My answer to that is yes. In my experience of using this one right here, when I had this thing, you know, sort of around my belly area on my body and I was spinning the centrifugal ball around, I felt like I was getting, you know, quite a workout. I felt like, you know, it was taking some effort and energy to get this thing around. And in some cases, it felt like it took more energy to get this thing going around in sort of that waist hooping position than using some hula hoops. So for those of you who don't plan on doing a bunch of different hula hoop tricks and you're totally okay with just doing a smart hula hoop on one spot in your body, then yes, I do believe that a smart hoop can provide a nice workout. Something I will add about a smart hula hoop is that I was still able to do quite a bit with this, even though it was in that fixed location on my body, such as in this clip right here, I was even able to dance with this thing and move around. I was also able to make the centrifugal ball spin faster, which I feel like added to the workout as well. Now a disadvantage you might want to know about when using smart hula hoops is sometimes these things can make a lot of noise. Check out these clips right here. As you can hear probably in the microphone, it sounds kind of loud when I get it to go faster like that. Let's see how fast I can get it to go. This thing is also really loud as well. Something else to think about when using smart hula hoops, in the ones that I tested, I found some sizing limitations. For the people out there with a bigger plus size body type, using a smart hoop like this, this one right here really only gets so big. Here's what it looks like when I have all the pieces assembled in this smart hula hoop and I have it around my body. For the people out there needing a bigger size, one possible solution that you can try is buying two smart hula hoops. Then you can combine pieces from each smart hula hoop to form a bigger smart hula hoop. Now here's the thing, I've really only tried combining smart hula hoops to make a bigger smart hula hoop with my friend Abby, like in this footage right here. So if you're requiring a much, much bigger size, I can't guarantee the effectiveness completely because I don't really know how many smart hula hoops you can put together before it just doesn't work that well. Now when it comes to using a weighted hula hoop, typically for a lot of beginners, you might need to start out with a much bigger hoop size. And if you are in need of an extra, extra large hoop, just like with smart hula hoops, you can maybe just get a couple of collapsible weighted hoops and then join them together. But the problem with that option is if it is a weighted hoop, if you're gonna combine two weighted hula hoops together, then you're gonna have a heavier hoop. And if you are increasing the weight of your hoop, then that might get a little bit more riskier to use. So in that case, if you do need an extra, extra large hula hoop size, you might just want to get a couple regular collapsible hula hoops and then combine those together. Also, not all collapsible hoops are made equal. In this footage right here, where I'm taking pieces from one hoop to join to another collapsible hoop, that hoop right there, I made myself. And I know that is a durable hoop. So if you're gonna go out and get two collapsible hoops, you wanna make sure you get something high quality and that is durable and that can withstand the issues that come from combining extra collapsible hoop pieces together. Personally, in my experience of using weighted hula hoops, I feel like using a hoop that's close to the two pound mark or below that is enough for me. But for some of you out there, you may even need a lighter hoop, you know, depending on your situation and your needs. Okay, so let's go ahead and move along to some other advantages and disadvantages with smart hula hoops and weighted hula hoops. Now, one advantage that some smart hula hoops have uh, that a lot of weighted hula hoops may not have is the ability to carry count the spins when you're spinning the centrifugal ball around. However, when I did test a couple units with counters, one counter I had issues with getting it to work consistently, and the other counter stopped registering spins after the smart hoop fell on the floor. But personally speaking, even if the counter was effective and I could count my spins, I don't think it's that big of a deal for myself to know how many times this thing spun around. Oh, and just to be clear, not all smart hula hoops have counters such as these ones right here. When it comes to weighted hula hoops, in my searching online, I did discover one hoop that appears to be able to count revolutions, along with being listed as having multiple other features as well. However, I don't wanna get deep into that hoop in this video, but maybe I might talk about it more in a future video. Okay, it's time to move on. 
an advantage a smart hula hoop has over a weighted hula hoop is I feel like you could probably use a smart hula hoop in much smaller of spaces. And for a lot of the beginners out there, you're likely gonna need a bigger hula hoop anyways. So if you do live in a small space, the bigger weighted hula hoop may not be the one for you. Also, another cool feature about smart hula hoops is the adjustability of the centrifugal ball. Yes, being able to adjust the centrifugal ball further away from the hoop or closer. And in my experience, when the weight on the end is adjusted further away from the hoop, then I feel like it spins slower. And then if it is closer to the hoop, then I feel like it can spin faster. Now there might be a way to mimic that adjustability uh, using hula hoops by using collapsible hoops. So if you make the hoop bigger, then it's gonna spin slower around. And if you make the hoop smaller, then it's gonna spin faster around. And typically the bigger the hula hoop is, the easier it is for a lot of people, not always the case. And then if the hoop is smaller, it tends to be more challenging to spin around. Another comparison I want to look at between these two is which one is easier to use? Now, I find that question a difficult question to answer. I have heard from multiple people who seem to have some challenges using the smart hula hoop and getting that centrifugal ball to spin around for longer periods of time. But on the other hand, I've also heard from a number of people using a hula hoop struggling to keep a hula hoop going. So when it comes to which one is easier, I just really don't know. But even though I don't know, I still wanted to add that comparison to this video because it is a really interesting question to ask, which one is easier? And I'd say to the people out there, if you have tried hula hooping before and you weren't successful, then I'd say maybe give smart hula hoops a try. I mean, it is kind of a nice feature that this thing uh, doesn't fall off your body and who knows, maybe you might get it. But wait a minute, perhaps what I should say is that smart hula hoops are not supposed to fall off your body, right? Well, that hasn't been the case with every smart hula hoop I have tested. Let's face it, some smart hula hoops are better than others. And if you don't believe me, check out my video where I included a comparison between this smart hula hoop and this auto spinning hoop. And in that video, one definitely performed better than the other. All right, coming back around full circle, which one is better for working out with? Is it better to use a weighted hula hoop or a smart hula hoop? And my answer to that question is it depends. It depends on your situation, what your needs are, and what you're wanting. For the person looking for more diversity in their workouts, maybe you want to learn some hoop tricks, maybe you want to spin the hoop on different parts of your body, a hula hoop option might be better for you. And for some of you out there, if you don't really want to learn all those different hula hoop tricks and you're fine with you know keeping it in one spot on your body or maybe you live in a small space so you need something smaller well then maybe the smart hula hoop will work better for you or if you like the adjustability of using a smart hula hoop how you can adjust the weight further or closer to your body which can also impact the intensity of your workouts well then a smart hula hoop might work for you in that sense as well and just so you know not all smart hoops have a centrifugal ball that you can adjust to be further or closer to your body now on Unfortunately, today, I'm not going to be crowning a champion between weighted hula hoops and smart hula hoops because I think you can use both for working out with. And I think it just really depends on what you're looking for, what your needs are, and what your situation is when determining which is better for you. I would say the best option to go with here is the one that you're gonna use the most. Because if you go out and you buy a super ridiculously heavy weighted hula hoop and it has these huge knobs and bumps sticking out, which I don't recommend that you go do that. But if you go do that and then you try it out and you're like, oh, I'm in all this pain, why would you want to keep on using that thing? Also to be careful what you buy because there are some products out there that may not be that great. And if you want to see something I felt did not perform well, then I recommend watching the review that I did on this thing. When it comes to weighted hula hoops, though I'm not the biggest fan of usually telling people to go buy hula hoops online, I always think it's better to try out hula hoops in person. I feel like that's usually the best way to get fitted for a hula hoop so you don't get the wrong size. However, for the people out there that don't have the option to go get fitted for a hoop in person, especially if you're going to buy a weighted hula hoop online, I do recommend that you check out the reviews. Because if you're reading through the reviews and a number of the reviews are talking about how the person 
experience pain using the hoop, and you know there's a bunch of reviews that are saying that, then that might not be the best hoop to get. Now, if you got to this point in the video and you're still unsure about which is the best option for you, smart hoops or weighted hoops, I recommend checking out my video playlist right here because if you didn't get your questions answered in this video, you might get them answered in some of those videos. And you can also ask questions in the comments section. Also, I recommend checking out Abby's channel. I put a link to her channel in the description of this video. Well, so much for this video being short.